Hi, my name is Neb Kamus Sen Atumre and this is the second part of the video series Revelation 18. The first Empire Babylon. The first living creature resembled a lion, a flesh-eating, carnivorous, mammal called king with the nature of the devil. This living creature represents the significance of the first beast existence. The word lion connotes courage, fearlessness, and life, and thereby this first beast or empire would conquer and hold over a great part of the earth having enormous power and a fearless nature. This empire was ancient Babylon, the first major civilization, Revelation 6-2. The word Babylon is derived from the Hebrew name Babel, which means confusion, chaos, vanity, nothingness. In the Babylonian language, it means gate of God. Babylon, the capital of this empire, was founded by Nimrod, the great grandson of the prophet Apostle Noah. The Bible mentions Nimrod as having the master plan to build a tower called Babel, doorway to El, which got the God, Jehovah of the Bible, man, according to Genesis 11, 4 through 7. So Nimrod was the first recorded master mason. To understand who Nimrod was, you must go back to the beginning. For Nimrod was the son of Cush, Genesis 10, 8, who was the son of Ham. Genesis 6, 10, who was the son of Noah. Genesis 6, 10, which is where the story begins. Nimrod was the son of Cush and Semiramis. Genesis 10, 8. And is mentioned in the Bible four times. First, Genesis 10, 8. Second, in Genesis 10, 9. The third time, Nimrod is, is mentioned is First Chronicles 1, 10. And Nimrod is mentioned last in Micah 5 6. The term mighty one is translated from the Aramaic Hebrew as Gibor, which derives from the Hebrew word Gabar. The first time Gibor is mentioned in the Bible is in Genesis 6 4, and I quote There were giants in the earth. In, do, in those days and, of, and also after that when the sons of God came in unto the daughters of men and they bare children to them the same became mighty men which were of old men of renown so th this verse clearly states that Nimrod is related to the sons of God who are children with female mortals making him half human and half God the same as Jesus who is the son of Mary the virgin female mortal and God himself Jesus Christ he was given the name Nimrod which means to rebel he rebelled or revolted rebellion or the valiant again the same as Mary the mother of Jesus and Elizabeth the mother of John the Baptist their names meant rebellion when translated from the Greek language and the phrase were of old is translated in Aramaic Hebrew as Olam meaning long duration antiquity futurity forever ever everlasting evermore perpetual old ancient world so Nimrod is from the ancient ones Nimrod opposed the teachings of Abraham prior to his meeting with Melchizedek the priest of the Most High as mentioned in Hebrews 7 1 and 17 and Hebrew 620 Jesus Tammuz was also a high priest 
after the order of Melchizedek. As mentioned in Hebrews 7.17, this is found again in Hebrews 6.20. Nimrod named the city called Kalneh, meaning fortress of Anu, Genesis 10.10, 10, which is called today in Egypt as the city of Anu, Heliopolis, the city of the sun, in honor of the Most High. Nimrod, as mentioned previously, was called a mighty hunter, a ribore, as beings that came down from above found in Genesis 6-4, where it is used as in relation to the sons of God, the of the Elohim that came down to earth. So originally, Nimrod was classified with the Anunnaki or Nitirah as Ribore, mighty hunter by his envies, the, Le the Levitical priests. Nimrod worshipped the Sumerian god Anu, who is none other than the Egyptian supreme being On, or Ra, or Re, On, Heliopolis, which is the city of the sun, is found in Genesis 41-45, Genesis 41-50, and Genesis 46 20 meaning strength vigor the Greeks renamed the sacred Egyptian city Leopolis in honor of Heliopolis meaning the city of Helios the Sun Helios is the Sun God in Greek mythology who is the son of Titian Hyperion and Theia he was the brother of Selene and Aurora the father of Aetis Sorse and Faizon. Nimrod's real name was Sargon II, also called Nem Nembroth. He had his own value system and considered himself a Nitir, God, supreme being in flesh. So he broke off from the worship of Tammuz. And even named his son Tammuz to belittle the status of Tammuz. Bab Ilu in the Akkadian language, the gate of El is the tower that made the God of the Bible feel intimidated enough to go down and confuse or confound their language as found in the Bible in Genesis 11:7. That is exactly what God did. He caused unnecessary confusion to a group of people who were building a tower to reach the heavens. Note, Yahweh, the Lord of the Bible, must have thought it was possible to reach the heavens by this tower, or this whole episode would not have been necessary. Nimrod's subjects because Nimrod, who was known amongst the Sumerians as Sargon, strayed away from the laws of the one Lord Tammuz. Nimrod gave all praise and gratitude and reverence to the supreme being Re, and none other. He had no respect or no respect for intermediaries such as Tammuz. He believed go directly to the heavenly one and for that he was called disagreeable because he disagreed with the worship of Tammuz. Tammuz was none other than the son of Ishtar and Dumuzi. He was appointed the appointed one by God for mortals on earth. He is also known as Adonis and became Adonai of the Arameans and Hebrews spoken of in the Bible Ezekiel 8.14 He is referred to as Adonis Adon Haru Elion Allah Urius Christos Christ and Jesus Kalne used to be an ancient city in Babylon Mesopotamia Kalne 
is often associated with Nippur, which is one of the seven cities that were inhabited by the agreeable Anunnaki. Nippur, the agreeable Anunnaki. Nippur was also known as Kodesh. It was originally called Nibru Kai, meaning earthplace of Nibiru. It was the city of Enlil. It was the city of Enlil. was the city of Enlil, Nu Namnir, Su Riel, the Anunnaki, son of Anu and Antum. Enlil, ruler of the skies, also known as Nu Namnir, light of the fish, he had a wife called Ninlil. He was given rulership of the Liul skies. Enlil, Nu Namnir, Su Riel, fathered one son by his sister Ninti, Nin Hursag, Mami. His name was Ninurta, who was called the Avenger, champion of Enlil. He also had two sons by his wife Ninlil. One of his sons was named Nanar or Sin. He fathered the twins Ishtar Singh and Utu Shamash. And the other son was named Ishkur or Adad. Enki. Also known, oh, excuse me, Enki was the oldest son of Anu by Eid Naimul, who became the ruler of earth, and from there he inherited the name Enki, also known as Nud Nudimud, another title meaning one who fashions things. Although he was the first son, he was not given soul reign to rule, but his rank was below that of Enlil, his younger brother, because of certain rights of successorship based on bloodline, based on the bloodline. Since Anu and Antu or Antum were half siblings, their blood would be purer than that of Anu and Eid, Naimul, and with rules of succession, an offspring of a half-sibling was made heir over those who were not, such as the case of Inki, whose mother was only a spouse and a homosaurian. Dragons, princes of earth, in an attempt to create a bond, an alliance, or a seal an alliance between the Ushungal, Homosaurians, the Draconians, and the Anunnaki, who were coming down to earth to mine for gold and take back to their planet Rizpa in Ilion, it was a customary to take a bride of a nation you are trying to make peace with or make an alliance with and at this time the draconians and the serpent beings were the main inhabitants in control of, in, in control of planet earth. Rezbo. 
is located in the 19th galaxy called Ilion, where there are three sun stars, 19 planets, and 38 moons. In three. Also had a child by his first, by his half sister, Ninti, Mami, or Nin Hursag, trying to obtain a male ear by a half sibling to increase his chances for succession so he could obtain successorship. Yet Ninti, Bo Inki, Ndimud, Zag, Zag El, a daughter named N so he tried to reproduce a male ear again by having sexual intercourse with his daughter Namu again a daughter was born named Nash and he did the same thing with his daughter and produce another daughter. All end results were girls. Inky didn't obtain any male ears. The only male children were conceived by his wife, Dam Kri Nam. Nin Kri, who bore him Mordok. And his twin sister, Baha Ilat or Baha Alat. And then two more sons, Nurgal and Dumuzi. Inki had six sons altogether. Are you listening, people? Tammuz was appointed to save Mammalians, us, to guide the pure seed back to the right path towards our sustainer, the Most High and the Anunnaki. Tammuz was an N master or a, or a Yahayu existing one or living one and was chosen because he had both natures of the Anunnaki and would be able to judge the nature of human beings. Tammuz was an Enlilite Anunnaki and an Enkiite Ushungal. Tammuz's parents would do Muzi, also Dam Muzi, meaning who he whose son is like, son of Enkiite, master of earth. And in Anna, meaning Anne's lady, the granddaughter of Enlil, master of the sky. Du Muzi was killed by accident, and his brother Murdoch, who was also known as Michael Michael in the Semitic book, Melchizedek in the Chaldean records, and Murdoch received the blame and was sentenced to death although innocent and was imprisoned in the great pyramid called Ikur meaning loft, house and also prison by the Sumerians. Tammuz was converted into being an agreeable Anunnaki. He was captured by his uncle the Anunnaki and chemist Nurgal, 2 Kings 17, 30. He was captured because he was to be converted by the Anunnaki from Ra, disagreeable to Tobe, agreeable, from malevolent to benevolent. His mother Ishtar broke through the seven veils to get to the inner city of Aharda in order to get Tammuz back to stop them from converting him. However, Ishtar was captured by her half sister Arishkigal, the wife of her brother Nurgal. Both of them were scientists. Arishkigal 
then imprisoned for half sister Ishtar. Arushki girl was able to capture Ishtar, Ishtar because she tried to disguise herself as a Kuthite. Ishtar eventually escaped to the surface of the planet. Nurgar Shar Itzir is a Sumerian name meaning Prince of Fire. Nurgar, the wise alchemist, was the son of Engli, brother of Dum Muzi. Nurgar is the Anunnaki scientist who formed the cure for death along with other cures which he and his wife Arushkigal, the chemist, discovered long ago. The Bible and the Quran of the Mohammedans were copied and plagiarized from Sumerian tablets by the Sumerian deity Tammuz, which came from Egypt in order to create a guidance to control the people of planet Earth. Tammuz is the god that came down to planet Earth during the building of the Tower of Babel, Genesis 11.5. From the seven tablets called the Enuma Elish and the Gilgamesh Epics, the Bible and Quran were devised. These books spread the belief in that book that Tammuz a Yahweh, the appointed one over you, speaking, the appointed one over you, along with 46 Anunnaki plagiarized for the seed of Seth. For the seed of Seth. Genesis 4, 26. Tammuz did not create it. He made it easier. He used the ancient Sumerian tablets as his guidelines. This happened in non Phoenicia or Lebanon. He was assigned to ta earth to you innocites speaking to you innocites after you transgressed in the garden. According to Sumerian doctrine, Tammuz is your Jesus or your God incarnated. Philippians 2 6 through 7 and John 1 14. Who After being appointed, came to give you guidance and link you back with the stars, but you rejected and persecuted him. Holy Tablets, chapter 5, tablet 2, verses 122 through 134 states Tammuz, the son of Dumuzi, or Usir, who is falsely called Osiris whose heart is firm is not to be mistaken with Enlil who also bore the title Damuzi the triumphant son of Isis who is Ishtar the ear of Osiris who is Usir and Dumuzi Yahweh was he known by the Hebrews Ra was his name in Kemet and when Nudimud, known as Enkli, became set in Kemet, when Ishtar became Aset and later Isis, and this Aset and Usir, known as Dumuzi, gave birth to Tammuz, who was also falsely known as Horus to the Greeks, Har in Kemet, the original name of Egypt, from his name, this name Horus, do we get horoscope? Or Horus, who scopes the stars of the heaven. And horizon, which is Horus rising from the darkest or dead. In Greek it is Huios, simply meaning sun. Your raising from the dead or resurrection of the Son of God is born in these facts. 
He is also known as Hamashiach in Hebrew, whose father is David, the beloved. He is known as Christ, the Messiah, to the, of the Christians, whose father is Jehovah. Al Masih of the Mohammedans, whose father is Gabriel, the Holy Ghost. El Shaddai in the Torah of Genesis. And Christos, the son of Phaehos, in the Evangel of Revelation. El Shadidu in the Quran. This is what the change in the towns from cuneiform to Akkadian did. Then into the many towns it caused to come into being, where names and dates were changed to confuse those who read its babbling. Unquote. Okay, now, Mordopa was the son, grand son of An, Anu, the heavenly one, and the son of Enkai and Damkina, meaning faithful spouse, who proved his loyalty to Anu and was thus taught by the great Anu himself and received honors for his bravery for fighting against Tiamat, Tiwawa, Earth. The planet Earth had also had other names such as Irsetu and Iridu, Homer in the faraway. Murdo, meaning son of the mound, who raged with the albino reptoids, evil ones, Maldicians, that were in control of the planet and defeated them. Murduk was praised and raised in rank above all the Anunnaki for his bravery and was so respected that all the Anunnaki, including the Igi, those who see and observe the watchers, her ear prostrated for Murduk. For this victory, he was named ruler of all the deities, Lugal, Dimmer, and Ri, master of the deities of heaven and earth, became his title, which is also seen with the name Michael, Michael, the archangel and head of the angels, Jude 1 9. Mordok's mystery names are Amun, Nobi, Ru, Achbata. Sabbath Hill, Yanun, or Amon Ray. He is also called Malki Tisidek, the son of righteousness, the deliverer of the faithful, El Ruhu, El Odus, the, the holy soul and the protector of El Mukhrasina, Mikael, holder of the scroll of names and the key of the kingdom of Malakut. His wings are as green emeralds crowned at all times in Malakut with an innumerable array of Allahum. Some call him Bishtar, the provider of the Anunnaki, the viceroy of the skies and the prince of the pure green light. He is called Atumbre. Do you understand? And finally, Maldicians are a species of reptilian, humanoid lizards, albino white and colorless, who inhabited the planet Earth beneath the deep or yam, the seas, in the deep dark ocean and melanin recessive, losing their color before the Anunnaki came to Earth to mine gold. The Maldicians were originally from the planet Maldic, also called Vulcan, that is no longer in existence. Others have come to the surface in crafts, in the, ma in the mammalian reptilian form, and altered their genome chromosomes and mixed in and bred with humans to create a hybrid walking around in the guise of a Caucasian, of the ocean girl, hiding in pale human skin. You all have just put another one into office, Nubian people. It is time to stop being prisoners to these 200 fallen angels 
their leprous Caucasian hosts and their black, their black devil friends. Holy Tablets chapter 6, tablet 2, entitled The Prisoner States. Lo, arise, you purifiable souls, you purifiable souls. You need to come into one mind, for it is your life and it is short. Be ever gracious to El Ilo Anu, who is called Alion Alion El. This Anu is the Most High, who taught you by his light, the, the sun, which shines through the inks of the Yamum, the seas, and the pages of the trees, that he has 1,000 names and 3,000 tones be prisoners no more in the mud of the flesh. Escape into total harmony with the Anunnaki, who are the Alahum, in the name of our beloved father Anu, and his children, the Anunnaki, Alahum. And by way of the Holy Spirit, which are the Igigi, and may you be born again in the spirit in an Aetherian form. For yes, I, yes I, speaking from afar, yet ever so near, I'm sent by our Father to bring you back into the bosom of Alun Alun El, who is Anu the Most High, your Heavenly One, Master of the boundless universes. Wrestle not with the facts, for there is facts beyond any shadow of a doubt in truth. For there is no strength, no power, no power granted except by He who is called Anu, the ever-living Master of all the worlds. Who sent Tammuz and Adonai, who is called the Messiah? My craft, speaking, my craft, Nibiru, hovers above overhead and it peaks its sight. Trust in these signs. And the seen and the unseen will be seen without doubt. The blind eyed hearts and the deaf and the dumb, they wander on in ignorance, having not seen the Biru. This unquestionable truth I have brought unto you and is the scroll of Anu, wherein the wise find all truth. 